Okay, so so far I've got the I got the pulleys in, the idler, tensioner, um, I got the valve covers, I got the uh, coil packs, they're wired in. Um, I got the, uh, the lower intake is on, and uh, this is this is just tape because I didn't want that to get painted. Uh, let's see, front bracket for the uh, for the top plenum, um, the harness over there, and some some hoses on that side, and I put in the uh, AC pump. Okay, so. It's starting to come together. I just gotta uh, let's see what I need. I need the uh, I need the uh, harmonic balancer, um, starter. Let's see what else? Oh, alternator, power steering pump. So yeah, not too bad. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, I can get this thing done by this weekend coming up. All right. So today. I only had about an hour after work, so I put in the uh, uh, the, uh, the air conditioner. I, I, I buckled that, uh, buttoned that all up. Um, I also did the power steering pump. That's in. Um, the exhaust is completely bolted in and torqued down. I did the filler neck. Um, yeah, let's see, what else did I do? And I put in... The, I don't know if you see it there, but the harmonic balancer, that's on. So, basically, the only thing I need to put on in the front is the alternator, and I can get the belt on there. And everything else is pretty much all set. So, tomorrow I'll take up where I left off, and and um, hopefully it'll be done by this weekend. I still got to do a transmission filter and oil, and... Um, just a couple here things here and there, and I, th I think hopefully by this weekend this thing will be buttoned up and back together and see how it runs. Okay, so today I put in the uh, serpentine belt and the alternator. I don't know if I did that in the last little video I did, but put in the alternator, uh, put in the uh, radiator, the core support, the uh, uh, condenser, the uh, cooler for the um, transmission. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I filled it up with uh, with antifreeze. And tomorrow, I'm gonna put the oil filter, the oil, I'm gonna stick the plenum on there. And um, then after that, I have to put uh, the transmission filter and transmission side cover and uh, the bottom cover on and then after that what do I got? Yeah, after that I think it's just the uh well I gotta do the plenum of course but after after that I think I just have to put some brackets a couple brackets underneath and I can start this motor up and see how she roars hopefully. Alright well that's it for tonight. Okay so I uh sand it down and blasted in my cabinet the uh, transmission pan oil pan uh, the side cover and I just um, I just sanded it down and painted the throttle body um, I'm gonna put all your gaskets in there I got the screws in there tumbling to get them nice and clean and uh, so next I'm gonna put put the uh, transmission pan the side cover and the uh, and then after that I'm gonna stick on that plenum had it running for about 20 minutes at about 2,000 rpm and uh, all the little rickety rackety stuff on the lifters went away so it's been running about I want to say an hour hour and a half something like that and it's still running nice and smooth I got no engine codes um, Oil looks good. Uh, the display is not showing any problem with oil pressure or anything like that. The uh, antifreeze is working properly. So, no leaks underneath. So, I'm going to let it run for another probably hour or two. Uh, see what it does, and I'll come back and uh, shut her off and turn her back on and see what happens from there. But so far, it sounds beautiful. New engine, so I'm glad it uh, 
all work out. So I got a couple more things to do, but for the most part, I'm all set. I got the uh, the hoods on. This is the, uh, the new hood. The other one had a huge dent in it. And I replaced the uh, driver's side fender. So the new fender's on. And uh, still got to do the uh, driver's side rear door. Okay, so I uh, got the engine in. Um, it's all in and rolling. Uh, sounds great. And what else did I do? Let's see, I put two new battery terminals because one of them melted and got really bad. And, and uh, when, I, when I did my first start, it hard and melted the whole uh, piece over here. Um, also, I found that the radiator um, has a little tiny, tiny leak, uh, but it's at, a, it's at a seam, so it's nothing I can do with it. It's out of plastic seam, I don't think you can so I just ordered one. Should be coming in soon, so I'll throw that new radiator in it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So I got the, uh, the new hoods on. I don't know if I did that before. I might have. Um, the lower portion of the bumper with, with the new fog lights is on. That goes to the junk the whole lower section there. I'm actually going to make uh, a whole new bumper setup. I'm going to graph two bumpers together to get it, give it like a um, more aggressive look. Let's see, this door is on. Um, what else did I do? And I got the, that's. That's the new seat. The old one was all ripped up. Um, let's see. And this is the new seat. The old one was ripped up. And actually, uh, oh yeah, that one's a new seat too. They were only $35 a piece at the junkyard and they're heated. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. This is the, uh, that's the radio that I put in. It's a double den. You, you can't put double dens in these cars and Pacificas. But I, uh, I actually used a portion of the old radio that was in there, and I grafted it in with the uh, with a bracket, and um, made these here, and then I painted them flat black, so I was able to make my own uh, mounting kit for that radio, and that radio got everything on it. It's got a let's see, it's got GPS. Um, you, you name it, it's, it's got a, it's got all that stuff on it. But um, also the uh, this radio I got in tune with. Let me get to the back here. This I, uh, I ordered this on. Uh, I think my wife got it on Amazon, and I installed that. I had to take the uh, I had to take the wiring off. Uh, excuse me, the, the headliner off completely in order to run it that way and down. And this thing here, I can play a video here and see it up front, or I can play it up front and see it over here. So either way, it'll work. Um, it's one of my daughter's movies. Um, you can you can play it uh, off of the speakers that are here, or you can change it and play it off of the car speakers. And another nice thing it has, it comes with two headphones, and you can uh, you can actually play it through the headphones, and that way, like uh, my daughter will just uh, will just put the headphones on, and she'll be able to listen to the movie that's in here, and we can still listen to our own music, which is really nice. So stay tuned. Well, I do when I do the uh, front uh, front bumper cover. Uh, I might take a video of putting in the radiator. And uh, also, I got these corner pieces here. They were uh, they were all broken, so I got some new ones at the junkyard. And I also put in a nice uh, recessed backup camera, which works with that radio that's in there now. So stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.